16. Today we are looking at two chapters, chapter 42 and 43. But for you to understand where we are coming from, maybe 41, verse number 50 and to 52 might give you a little glimpse of where we are coming from. Before the years of famine came, came two sons were born to Joseph by Asenath, daughter of Potiphar, a priest of one. Joseph named his firstborn Manasseh, for he said, it is because God has made me forget all my trouble and all my father's household. The second son he named Ephraim, it is because God has made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. And we are going to discover that he never did. He never forgets. And of course, when we continue, we discover why his father, Jacob, had to, sh to sh change uh, to, to, to change their order. I want to read another verse now in uh, 42, and I read verse 21, and I also read verse 27. They said to one another, surely we are being punished because our brother of our brother. We saw how distressed he was when he pleaded with us for his life, but we would not listen. That's why this distress has come on us. Reuben replied, verse 22, did I not tell you not to sin against the boy? Verse 27, at the place where they stopped for the night, one of them opened his sack to get feed for his donkey. And he saw his silver in the mouth of the sack. My silver has been returned, he said to his brothers. Here it is in my sack. Their hearts sank and they turned to each other, trembling and said, what is this that God has done for us. Lord God, I pray that you'd speak to us this morning, shortly, but with a message that is going to drive us even into our future. And dear Father, a message that can turn us around like it turned around the children of Jacob into becoming a family again. We want to thank you and to give you praise in Jesus' name. Let's get seated in the presence of the Lord. Let's appreciate the worship team. Amen. 20 years is a long time. Tell your neighbor, 20 years is a long time. Actually, ask them, how many years have you been in this church? Let them talk to you. Some of you have been here all your years. Amen. But 20 years is a long time. Some of you, 20 years, you got married. 20 years, your children are in the university. 20 years... You, you, you have become a, a wealthy tycoon 20 years. You have bought plot and built 20 years. It's a long time. You can be a millionaire with only 20 years. So 20 years is a long time. And we are picking this story when it is 20, 39 age of Joseph, which is almost 20 years since he was sold into Egypt. So 20 years is a long time. And you believe you me, 20 years you can forget many things. You can even forget the short, the, the uniform that you had in your primary. You can forget. Actually, some of you have forgotten. But some of us still remember what we wore in secondary. For default, because some of, you, some of us thought it was funny, because ladies used to wear miniskirts. They were so tiny, you know, to mini, to mini, mini. And, and then the boys used to make sure that there are no pockets. They are tight shorts. You know, wana pasua, wana funga. Sao wana chindo, wana funga. Na alafu wana weka kitamba hapa. Ya kutishe, you know. Haina mfuko, kini kakitamba, kame kunju wa vizuri na pasi. Those ones we can remember. But there are also many other things that we cannot remember. We have forgotten because 20 years or the years that we have lived are many. But there is something that you cannot forget. Guilt. Guilt you cannot forget. You can try to do anything, but you still remember it. On a positive note, because it is good to understand that even us as ministers, we go through the same stuff. Sometimes things that happened long time ago, and you thought you had forgotten. Lo and behold, something triggers it, and you remember, hey, it never happened. I need to do it now and so on and so forth. You see, when, when the first service, I asked Rachel to say something. 
Because Rachel in Israel, she decided maji iwezi ni hepa tena. Kwa hivyo Jordan, ye hako patizwa ya kuenjoy, ye alipatizwa ya kwanza. He the first one, he the maji ya mingi. Najua kuna wengine tu maji likuwa kidogo. Even mea, hata yeye hakubatizwa ile ya kina Alice, yake ilikuwa first time maji mingi. So you can imagine the feeling that those two and three or four had was different than the others. Because there's something triggers you back and you feel, no, this didn't happen, it has to happen. For example, when we were doing weddings there, I would sense there are some people there. Although their spouses were not there, it's like they're saying, I will do it. Because, you know, it was so simple. Can you, can you wear the seven couples in about 15 minutes? <laughs> Wonderful. It was great. <laughs> what Daniel did not tell you, I also gave these guys Holy Communion. Whoa. And the bread was not small like this one. It was hefty. He broke bread and gave them. You know, it was a huge thing. <laughs> the cups were a little bigger than this. And Apo Pengine Sisemi. Praise God. But it was awesome. It was a great experience. So I'm saying there are some things that provoke you. You know, you get somewhere and then it provokes you. Even what you thought you had forgotten comes back to life. But there is something that you cannot do. Actually, the question that we want to ask, what can you do with your guilty conscience? What can you do? Because you cannot forget. You can pretend. Somebody who abused you, somebody who misused you, somebody who cheated you, somebody who called you names, sometimes you forget, you behave like you are forgotten. All of a sudden, something happens and you remember. Shindwe. Sometimes you remember even when we are praying and you, you go, shindwe, and your neighbor is wondering, ni mimi ni shindwe? Ama ni wewe ushindwe. Are you understanding where I'm coming from? So there are those times that you and I thought you forgot some things, but you cannot erase guilty, conscious of something that happened to you. It's like it is written in your heart and you cannot forget. And we pick the story. Now, where is Joseph? Joseph has become a prime minister. Whoa! He's a prime minister. He's a big man. And his brothers are there, but they have no clue because Joseph is using an interpreter. So he's speaking, he's speaking Egyptian. And the interpreter is doing it in Hebrew. But he's understanding every word in Hebrew. Have you interpreted for someone who knows the language? Like some of you that have interpreted for JB here. JB pushes you to unasema na kwambia sio hivyo. You know, so you can imagine Joseph could not do that because he did not want them to have a clue. So whether the interpreter missed it, which I miss, they were there. But what happened? When Joseph is talking to them, the Bible tells me Oh, on the third day, Joseph said to them, Do this and you will leave, for I fear God. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers stay here in prison, while the rest of you go and take grain back for your starving household. In actual fact, if you read from verse number one, it is simply saying when they came back this time, something happens. Joseph told them, you are spying. Verse number one, he's telling them, you have just come, you, 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 have, you have come to spy. So from verse 1 to number verse 5, they have come for food. Their place is terrible. They have come for food. But Joseph is telling them in verse 6 to 14, no, you guys have come to spy. You are spies. And he arrests them and put them in prison. But then when he's releasing them, he's telling them, if you are honest people, I will set you, I will release you. So on the third day, after they have been in prison, Joseph said to them, Do this and you will live, for I fear God. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers stay in prison, while the rest of you go and take grain back to your starving household. But you must bring your youngest brother to me, so that your words may be verified, and that you may not die. This they proceeded to do. But at that point, listen to what they are saying in verse 23. They said to one another, in Hebrew, 
Surely we are being punished because of our brother. We saw how distressed he was when he pleaded with us for his life. But we would not listen. That's why this distress has come on us. Reuben replied to them, Didn't I not tell you not to sin against the boy? But you would not listen. Now we, we, we must give an account for his blood. They did not realize that Joseph was understanding what he said. Now when they confessed that, he discovered they know it. He discovered they had not forgotten about it. He thought they had forgotten, but they had not forgotten. So what does he do? The Bible tells us he turned away, went somewhere to weep. Because he realized his brothers had gotten to know what they did was wrong. Now these guys have five tests or six tests that have come upon them. The first test is famine happening in their own land. And they have to go to Egypt. Though Egypt was the last place to go. Because Egypt would remind them of who? Of Joseph. So if they go to Egypt, it will tell them, here is where you sold Joseph. So they, they, it was not easy. The second test was, Joseph becomes so harsh on them. He arrests them. He puts them into jail. He puts them in a place where they cannot come out. And what does he tell them? He tells them, Nini ni spy. You have come to spy our land. So Joseph, in his thinking, he has two ideas in him. Idea number one was not to give them food. Because if he gave them food for them to carry food only, his aim of reconciliation would not take place. So his idea was not only food. He wanted to do something more than food. Verse 15 to 17, the brothers spent in prison, it was just to remind them of the pit that they put their brother in. It's reminding them of the pit they put their brother in. Then Joseph also is left with a Simon in prison as they go. Why? Because he also wants them to know your family is split. You are no longer together. And you people, you can leave one in, to rot or die like you did for Joseph. So there they left him. In verse number 20, he demands for Benjamin. Simply meaning what he's asking them. He wants to know how honest they are. He's trying the honest test. How honest are you? And then money is refunded to them. It's also trying to tell them, at this point, you need to know of who you have trusted and the direction that you are going. So if you like, he's telling them, there is a strange case, there is something that is going to happen to you because you stole money from Egypt. It's like you went without paying for food. So as I say again, here they are standing with Joseph, but they have no clue, it is, but Joseph knows them. But he is sympathizing with them. But they are his ten brothers. And he can tell Reuben, Jude, he can tell them, Reuben, Jude, he can, Simon, he can tell. He's looking at them and he knows all of them, but they don't have no clue. Because this guy, Amejipaka Mafuta, Ako Smart, Ako Prime Minister, Ako Namagad, Ako Protected. He is actually what he told them, and he can look at them as they bow, because they had to bow. Your Honor, we have come to buy food. We are, we, 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 we are 12, off, but one of us disappeared, and he's, he knows he's the one. And uh, uh, now we are 10 here, but the young one is left with the father back there. He knows that is also true. But what are they doing? They are buying. What did he tell them? You shall bow at him. In other words, there Joseph is, but he doesn't pride himself. He knows, I want these people to deal with the guilty conscience that cannot be rubbed by years. It does not matter how many years it has taken. If there is something that you're guilty about, there will be some things that will provoke it. If there is something that happens to you many years, there is some ways of provocation that can cause you to remember. 
Lakini unaona unakumbuka kiatu. Eh kiatu. Mm, unakumbuka kiatu. Labda ulinunuliwa alafu kanyang'anywa kikapewa your brother ili aende nayo secondary. Unakumbukaga tu uliletewa du, du, kuna mtu alikuletea kashati kazuri ka gift. Baba yako akakunyang'anya akakapatia your brother awe akienda nayo Sunday school. I mean tu vitu tuna una, una udhika. Una udhika miaka mingi unakumbuka why did they do this to me? There are little things that provoke you. They provoke you. They cause you to have some, you know, some some bitterness within you. But these guys over the years they never forgot. Why do I say they never forget? Because when they are put into prison and they are asked by Joseph what to do, they say surely we are being punished because of our brother. We saw how distressed he was when he pleaded with us for his life, but we would not listen. They are saying it and Joseph is hearing that he cried to them, they could not listen. What did they do? They still sold him as a prisoner. But what does jo- what is Joseph interested in? Joseph is interested in two things. Number one, he wants these people to be reconciled. He is looking not only for their physical needs, but he wants true reconciliation. And for true reconciliation to happen, they have to deal with, your, with their past. And I want to tell you, my brother, for you to get to where God wants you to be, my sister, you have to reconcile yourself with the past. The past that always lifts up its own ugly head to you. Even when you are prospering, it wants to throw back to you. The second thing Joseph wanted was to see the family put back together again. He wanted them to come together. He was looking for a day when they will all sit around the table, the 12 of them. He was eager to see it happen. And the Bible says in the verses without going all of them because there are so many. When they went back, the father had a problem to release Benjamin. Because as far as he was concerned, Simon is also lost. Joseph was lost. Now I give Benjamin three. He was so, he didn't like it. But because of the the hunger that was there, he agreed to release because Reuben said, I will be the guarantee. If the boy does not come back, it's like I'm ready to die for him. I'm ready to be sacrificed for him. He was ready for that. So when they come with, with, uh, they come with uh, Benjamin, they meet his, their brother Simon is already released from prison. And he is placed in a seat. Now the thing is, if you read, you'll discover they were placed how with their age. Video Alizariwa. Where Joseph would sit was to sit next to Benjamin. Benjamin was to be last. And they were in a round table. And I tell that it is at that point when they discovered there must be something that is going to happen here that is going to be unique. Because how come, how come, who said we sit like this? Because Joseph is the one who said, Wakai namnai, unauliza jina, we unakapa. Unaitwa nani we? Kapa. Na wewe? Kapa. You know, na wewe kapa. We toka hapo, ka uke. Wewe songa pale. We wacha hiyo kiti. Hiyo usikalia hapo, we ka. You know that kind of a thing. So they are wondering, why are we grouped like this? There must be something. And you know what? There are some arrangements that are happening in heaven because something is going to happen to you, but it has to be arranged in a certain sequence. God does not just work you do though. He works with a sequence. There must be something that God wants to do. May the arrangement take place. May God cause some arrangement to happen in the heavens. So there they are. But I, even at that point, because you know what? What Joseph is interested, there are two things that he's interested. Number one is for them to confess their sin, which they have done. They have seen how guilty they were because of how they distressed their brother. In verse number 21, they have looked and they have seen this is what happened. Therefore, for them, they are on the road to repentance. They have discovered they did not only hate him, they did not only plot against him. They never, not only betrayed him. They did not only throw him up there. They needed to admit that it was wrong and they have admitted. The second thing that Joseph wanted them for the first time to recognize is the hand of God. 
I told you that God is sovereign. He blesses one, he doesn't bless the other. He prospers one, he doesn't prosper the other. God is so sovereign. And some of the people who he prospers, you wonder why. But you can't ask him. He does, he does his own way. Because God is God. No wonder the person seated next to you, please ask them how old they are. Can you ask them how old they are? If they tell you they are less than 30, honor them. Because you don't know the kind of a person seated next to you. You know if you are 80 and you are seated next to me, thank God for your 80. But if I'm seated next to someone who is less than 20, is less than 30, man, my prayer is that that person will be great in the land. And one day they might remember there was an old bishop that was preaching for them. Hata wanilete tu kambusi. Hata kama ni kamukono upande moja. Are you understanding? So we are seated with the people that you have no idea, no clue. But when you look at them right now, na angalia kiatu, wana ni hile tu alikuwa kisoma na yao secondary. But you know what? God, <laughs> God, God is awesome. Ye mungu ni wajabu. Amen. Ukija church, usikubali shetani akwambie hii shati umevaa walikuona nayo. Usikubali. Huyo ni kukufinya na kufinya. Unasema hawakuniona nayo kama nimeipiga mkunjo na mna hii. Ha! nayo. Israeli kama nimeipiga mkunjo na mna hii. you have to agree that I'm heading somewhere. And as I head there, I refuse nobody to be negative about me. And I will not be negative about myself. So there are some people here whose life, hapa, maambasa datu wako, area tu, hapa tu. You know, this week, this week, this week, wiki, mwambia jirani yako wiki, I discovered, I discovered when I go to Geneva in the next two months, World Health Organization. Nitanunuliwa chai. Kwa sababu yuri atakuwa pale ni, ni mtoto, ni meona akizaliwa. Na na niitaka baba. Hii wiki tu. Nikasema oi. Mimi eh. Nikitembea Geneva eh. Na unajua I have never dreamed about Geneva. But because I hear kuna atache ataenda pale. World Health Organization mtoto wa rafiki yangu nimeona kakikua 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 ai akajafikisha 40 bado sasa mtaenda mwambie sasa yule sasa nilikuwa nimekuwa ulimuona miaka yake sio sio mama amekaa na wasichana wake lakini unaweza waambia tu you are going places yeah where i have not gone you are going places and the sky is not the limit. So Joseph knows them. So he arranges them in a way. But there is something else that he wants to deal with in their guilt. Envy. They had lived with a lot of envy. So he deals with their conscience. They were guilty, yes. They repented, yes. But envy, envy, envy. Ukisikia githa ya mebarikiwa na nyumba ya gorofatano, unasikia gaje? Yee, unasikia gaje? Kama unasikia ga envy, you need to deal with it. Because what, the, what Joseph told them was a simple dream. I dreamt, I'm a prime minister, I'm a president, I'm a king, you are bowing before me. He had no clue what will happen, but the sovereignty of God took him to places. Some places, if he was asked, are you still a prime minister? He would have said no, but God was preparing him. So finally, he's seated and watching them. But he knows these guys are still envious. And he's seated with them. Now they are all 12. Ni baba yako akuna. Akasema wapewe chakura. Kira mutu tuseme akapewa kukumuzima. Kira nindugu wa kutoka uko. Kule ambao kuku itaki mchezo. Kuku mzima kira mtu. Najua sasa, why I'm saying kuku ni kuku ni mdogo. Najua kule nimetoka wanapeyagu wa mbuzi. Sasa mbuzi utawekerea wapia. Tiupatia kila mtu mbuzi moja moja. Iwezekani. 
kuku kuna watu hapa anaweza rarua kuku moja na nusu one and a half it all depends how many kilos it is isn't it because kuna tungine tudogo so assuming each one of them was given a kuku 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 but for benjamin he was given four times he was trying to teach them something whether they will say why him because they had a problem with joseph why him why should be beloved why should he have this and the other so benjamin is given four times and joseph is watching but all of them for the first time in their walk in their life none of them said anything because you know what they discovered we don't need it we have enough even if benjamin does not finish it is his own business kwa hivyo ukienda harusi uone kuna mtu amejaza sahani hata inataka kuanguka wachana naye There is a hotel I normally go when we when I visit US. It is written with the capital letter. It says, "You can eat as much as one you want, eh? But don't put more than you can eat from in your plate. No wastage." Yaani usije unaweka alafu Tidugu rienda buffet ukajaza makuku, mangurue, nini? Ama fish Arafu kauma fish kidogo kauma kuku kidogo arafu kawacha pana don dukonie gaida That's what my mother used to say don't show god your stomach <laughs> That is a literal translation don't usioneshe mungu tumbo by throwing food out when it was so difficult to find it So he dealt with their with that by the fact that when Benjamin was given more the enemy had died I want God to help me to deal with me not to be envious of the blessings of others. Na genuinely when I celebrate you I want to celebrate with all the genuineness that I have. For example, we that went to Israel. Celebrate us without being envious. You are next. You know and there is nothing we did actually is only to sacrifice. Oh, I tell you, saving. Woo! See, kitu ilikuwa ngumu Sara amepigia watu. Mtafikisha pesa. You know it was not easy. Mimi asi anaweza kuambia. Eh hey, siulize kidhae. Niulizeni. Mimi nilipa karibu mbaba yake wiki kadhaa. Why? Kwa sababu chapa si kwa nimeweka pale. <laughs> Tintaenda tu nichukue niende. Hakuna. Kwa hivyo afadhali uniombe eko na ufurahiko. Kwa sababu wewe ndio next. Tell your neighbor you are next. Don't envy. You are next. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So I told you the first thing that Joseph wanted them to have is to confess their sin and they did and he wanted to deal with their enemy and they did. But the other thing that he wanted is for them to recognize the hand of God. That everything that we do, the hand of God must be there. Genesis 42:28 the Bible tell, tells me at this their heart failed them and they turned trembling to one another saying what is this that God is doing in actual fact that is the first time these 10 recognized the hand of God the hand of God they saw the hand of God they saw the hand of God what what makes you see the hand of God For me going to Israel the hand of God. For those that swam in the in the Dead Sea the hand of God. Na wale maji ingia kwa macho the hand of God. Although we left we held them. Mimi si kuingia. Si ku believe na as a float but they were floating. Uh kama kama mgemuona Sofia na meaje na alis eh na gedhae eh na kathirin eh unajua wengine mnafikiriaga rafa ni muzito eh just just go to dead sea dio town but you know they needed somebody to help them mtu akuangalia na we toa ule toa chika ule mkono lete 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 kwa maji bari maji maji mazuri so that but it was it was fun but what i'm saying we see there the hand of god Let me tell you truth and this is the whole truth from my heart. 
if these people saw the mountain called Mount Sinai during the day, none of them would climb it. Because ni murefu. Waliniwacha ni merara saa ine. Walinikuta ni kira breakfast. Asubui. If it was not the hand of God. Na kuenda usiku. So you that are going. Musiende mchana. Mufike hapa St. Catherine usiku. Iri mupande usiku. No, I'm serious. Without mentioning name. <laughs> Mumoja alienda akachokea kule. Uko ju. Akasema enda nege, enda, enda geni, mukimadiza mudirudie. <laughs> Na waka kubaliana. Daga kidogo. Uyu paka mweusi. Ni paka mweusi ama ni paka tu. Paka uyu. Samson anambia, shh, shh, ayendi, inazunguka tena na udi hapa. Kwa hui alisema, anataa kugoja hapo. We unaweza goja. <laughs> Alipata nguvu, haka pa. <laughs> Hata wale mtaenda, uchunge sana. Paka anaweza kuja pale. We see the hand of God. Oh God, you are awesome. Hmm. Recognize the hand of who? The hand of God. Because when they saw the hand of God, they were able to appreciate what happened thereafter. May you see the hand of God. I want to, you know, sometimes you want to finish, and before you finish, you don't know how to finish, and before you finish, you think there is something else that you can say. But I want to put, to interject with this. It, it would not have been easy for Joseph to reconcile with his brothers as long as they had dealt with their lies. You cannot help someone who is a liar. Liars, they can lie about anything. Niko Mombasa, hata nimeingia muembe tayari. Hapa tu nimesimama na hako hapa, hapa, hapa tu. Hapa, hapa, hapa tu. Na unamuona. Sama mtu kama hiyo wa uongo, huwezi kumreconcile baka deal na uongo wake. These people had lied to their father. They had lied to themselves. They had to deal with it because liars are terrible. Liars are terrible. Liars are terrible. And they are pretenders and hypocrites. You can only help someone who is sincere. How do you know somebody is sincere? You are dealing with A, B, C. But he tells you A, B, C, D, E, F. He goes beyond. It's like you're asking him, uh, when did this thing happen? He tells you what you knew, A, B, C, but then he tells you another thing that you did not know, D, E, F. The desire from his heart is to be redeemed completely. But a liar will be difficult to change them. So I pray that God is going to help us. Because lying, there are people who have made it so nikawaida. Kudanganya, ni kawaida, ata, ata. Zamani tukwa kusema ukimuangalia macho unaweza kuona akidanganya. Sasa uwezi. Amezoea. Uoni. But you see, your conscience will always tell you when you have done something wrong. Because what is a conscious? Conscious ni askari. Anakuambia unakosea hapa, unakosea pale. Lakini you can see your conscience kwamba haijui inikama inapretend. But even if they see at theirs, at one time they discovered they had done something wrong to Joseph and they needed to reconcile themselves to it. Unajua, conscious, ni kama ta. Isi tunaronaga za red, amber, green. Ikiwa red, inamanisha, usiende. Kabisa. Ata kama ungeweza zimagari, usiende. Bwana asifiwe, ni wangapi tumeruka ta, mimi nimeruka mara moja, wea ujaruka, mimi yeta nimeruka mara katha, wea ujaruka. Lakini tulipo ruka, hatujui ni makosa. Then what has happened? Ni kwa sababu, everybody does it. Okay, nani anajua kutupa takataka ni mbaya? Si tuna, 
Oh zima ma nimekuwa ya matope na matakataka imejaa matakataka. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. How many of us wametupa wamekula ndizi wakatupa maganda kama mimi? Sio mara moja? Sio mara mbili? Na nikisha atupa nione mwingine anatupa na mwambia gaje. Angalia huyu mtu. Hawa <laughs> watu. Hawa. <laughs> Hawa ndio wanafanya uchafu hapa. But you know what? Mercedes ndio hiyo kuna mtu amekula kandizi anafanya nini? <laughs> Kwanza mwingine ana justify anasema nitatupa ili mbuzi na kondoo wakipita wakule. <laughs> mbuzi na super highway mbuzi na uhuru highway mbuzi na wanapitaga uhuru highway mbuzi na So you can see it and how do you see it? It is when you break it again and again and again and again so that overlapping to you is no problem unless you see a police policeman. Mimi usema kama kungekuwa na kibonzo cha polisi kiwekwe tu kinawekwa kwa barabara kimekaa na kofia hivi. Watu wangekuwa madereva wazuri sana. Kwa sababu hata waangaliagi ni kofia tu ya white wakiona wanarudi. Kwa hivyo kibonzo kikiwekwa tu na ni kisanamu. Tuona watu wengi tunatola tukivika pale tunaona ah Kumbe ilikuwa bonzo. <laughs> I want to finish by saying this. Two things. Because I think if I said those things my my time there and I thank you guys you gave me more time I can see that. And thank you so much for giving me more time. Before I say those two, two things because I can see I have time there. Unless you come to your senses, tell your neighbor your senses. You will always live in sin or you do things that you know are not right. But you have to come to your senses so that your sense lifts your conscience up and you see this is not right. Like the story of the prodigal son. When he came to his senses, He woke up, discovered that in his father's place it was better, and he turned to go there. But if you come early, if you come one day early, he will always blame you. Sema kama ungekaa kaa kidogo ningekuwa tajiri, hizo nguruwe zote zingekuwa zangu. Kwa nini ulikuja? So I think it is good that they had to wait. Why am I saying this? Because if they if jo, if they had come to Joseph when he was in prison, What would they have said? Saona kiberebere yako kilikupeleka huko. Wewe uwezi kuwa kuna mtu anaweza kukuinamia. But when they are coming, they are coming at the right time. Are you getting the picture? So there is a right time. The first thing that I want to tell you is what is happening is God who has orchestrated it. Orchard. Oh, bas, io. He has done it. Orchestrated it for you. Because of his sovereignty he has just made it happen which means Joseph at the right time you are the prime minister these guys have to bow before you at the right time at the right time not earlier for 20 years they had buried their memories for 20 years they had forgotten about him but at the right time Joseph had to become the prime minister at the moment when the famine came and the brothers arrived for those events to play out so that they can go back to time they were envious about him. Secondly, the brothers weren't ready until now to face the consequences of their own sin. Unless you get to a level where you see you are con the consequences of your sin, unless you see what will happen because of your sinning, it might not wake your senses but when they got into their senses when they were ready when god dealt with their sin they were ready to move into the next level i ask you two questions question number one. what if like joseph you have been the victim of mistreatment of on the hands of others what if you too have been betrayed by others And I'm talking to people that are listening to me that are in this country this earth. What if you have been abused? Some people have said things about you or misused you. What if you have been falsely accused? What if What if you have spent years in the twilight while others passed you by? What if 
How can you awaken your guilty conscience of your tormentors? How can you awaken it? How can you cause them to know that they did this for you? You cannot. Don't try it. Don't try it. Ati unajua vile uli nikosea, don't try it. Mutachapo. Kuna wengine ukimukumbusha na kuchapa. Kwa hivyo afadhali nikae. But my prayer is that God in his own time will cause my tormentor to see, to get the repentance. Because repentance is a gift from God. So if you are like Joseph, do what he did. Serve the Lord where you are. Bloom where you are planted. Wait on the Lord. Give God time to deal with those who have hurt you. You know, when, 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 I was, when we were in Israel, somebody gave us a testimony. Woo! Glory to God. That testimony, without mentioning the name of that person. Woo! That was wonderful. This is what our sister says. When she drives her car to her village. Her what? Her what? To where? First of all, they look at her and ask, oh no. No. I I'm trying to say that God gives you, blesses you until people say, hey, there must be a God somewhere. Yes. And that is the prayer that I'm praying that God will cause people to say it to you. People would have planned evil, but God has planned good for you. That's what Joseph tells them. The second question, what if like Joseph's brother, you are burdened with a guilty conscience. And you are the brother to Joseph. And you have a guilty conscience. Though your sin be as scarlet. You shall be white as snow. Though. 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 If we go to the Lord. If we are so guilty. Like the Joseph's brother. We can go to the Lord. And the Lord has opened his door for us. I can deal with my conscience Only. If I face my past, and my past is not so good, some of my parts are not good. We want to pray, and because of time, we'll pray for you where you are. You know, when I was coming this morning, I was coming around five to church. And what came into me? was what Shosho did for me, or for us, just before independence. When I went to the encounter, I never dealt with that. I dealt with it this morning. There was a pastor who told me, I'm forgiven, and I am. But I'll give you now a story so that you can get it. Now I'll be giving you that story. Alice does not know about it. She will hear for it now because I've been set free. We visited Shosho with my siblings. I was the elder among them. And they were all girls. Rock of four. My sister, one of my sisters was one year old. And Githeri, na akina bosho, non githeri. Amen. Yeah. So show show. I'm a susu. Kwachakura. So show show said kuleni. No, I was forgiven today. Because we ate it. Tuliosha. Sini bembe, mwangalie jirani yako na wewe. Kwa nilikuwa na mbosho. Tuliosha, tukaweka chumvi, tukakula. I am over 60. I was eight. It hit me when I was coming down. I'm saying there could be somebody here. It hits you occasionally. You feel it. Something that happens. Now, Sasa Shoshu, when Alikufa Kitambo rests, your soul in heaven. She has no idea that I carried it. 
She had no idea that I would remember. And I had also no idea that I can remember. But today, coming to speak to you about guilt, that it's hard dropping down. Show, show, jockey. We ate it. But today, a pastor here said, Bishop, you've been set free. I don't know what it is. Can I say the same to you? That you have been set free. I don't know what it is, who I represent to you, whether it is your shosho or your father. Because there are some of us here, our fathers, our mothers, our brothers, our uncles, our teachers. Toas uruari mbere ya watoto. Wegine. Unataandiku mbere ya watoto. Unakumbuka uyo mwarimu na alikufa kitamba. 